Hey everybody, my name is Ellie Lee and welcome to iHeartRadio and dude, 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 okay, I need you to understand something. This man right here on so many levels is a legend and I feel honored to be in your presence. Thank everybody you. give it up for Rich Brian. Yes, Appreciate thank it. you for the enthusiasm. Rich Brian, welcome to New York. Welcome to iHeartRadio. How you. do you feel? I feel amazing. Dude, you are like so normal and cool. Thank you. Because when you see on the videos, I was like, oh no, he's going to be crazy. Right. Do I need to be laughing? Right. Like, do I need to be, you know? But you're so cool and normal, thank bro. Thank you. I'm just a regular teenager just you going are. through life. Dude, <laughs> uh, uh, we need to talk about this legendary album, The Sailor. Liter yes. Dude. <laughs> this is some next level stuff. Uh, Thank you. We need to talk about this album. What did you really want to do with this album? I wanted to uh, just level up completely with this album and make sure that everything that I'm making is just timeless. Dude. And that's kind of just like, if, if, if I had to like sum it down to like one word, I would, I would say it's like timeless. The single, your first single, Yellow, yes. is out and uh, the music video. I'm not trying to suck up to you. Also, I'm not trying to be like, we're Asians, I want right, to back you up. Right. The music video for Yellow is so artistic I and so it. deep I and so it. good. I, I'm so happy you like it. Dude, no, I was, you should, I was sitting on that, I was like this. Whoa, whoa, oh, okay, yes. Um, how did you, when you came, when you saw the video, were you just like, this is like an artistic masterpiece, bro? It is. I, I mean, I was, I was like also, you know, pretty involved with like the editing and stuff. And when you make something and you sit on it for so long, you kind of forget how mm. much like, the, like the impact that it has. Yes. You know what I mean? So yeah. you, it's, it's, it's crazy seeing like other people's reactions that are seeing it for the first time. Yes. <laughs> This song, does it not signify your coming of age story? Like, does it not say like, listen, I was Rich rich Brian back in the day, but now I'm becoming more of a man? Yeah. Is it like that? Absolutely. Okay. This, that's how it is in the whole album. Yes. Yeah. And I feel like just like in the, just like when I was making the song and when I was making this album, um, I was just going through that mindset too. And I was just kind of going through all this process of just like growing up yes. and, um, you know, finding my style and writing yes. and just like finding out that I can literally say anything that I want on a song and you can't like run out of shit to say. Yes. And it's just like a matter of how you word things. Yes. And um, Come yeah. On that one line in the song, what? You perform 50 shows in 50 states <laughs> without a citizenship <laughs> to show that you really could do anything. Exactly. It's an ins much. it's yeah. just so good. Like if I was a little girl, 13 years old, and I put you on, I listen to that song, I'd be like, oh, the world is my oyster. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because it's not like we that's, grew up that's with the like whole goal. Asian stars and we were just like, that's what I want to be. We didn't grow up with anything basically, exactly. right? Yeah. Pretty much. You're that's changing amazing. lives. I, that's the goal. <laughs> You're doing it. You're doing it. Um, oh, okay, okay. You did you make this album while you were traveling the world and performing and like meeting fans constantly? Um, I was. It was actually right as I was getting off the tour, mm -hmm. and I wrote a lot of it when I was in Indonesia, mm. and then I actually recorded a lot of it in New York. Oh, nice. Um, yeah, we all. <laughs> it was like me and like these producers bacon and the donuts and we're all actually like in LA but we all just came to New York just because every time we're in New York there's no distractions yeah, yeah, so yeah, that's yeah, kind yeah. of like the best place to just like work on something for so long yes so we were just locked in the studio for like a home like like two months or something like that Damn. and uh, and then just like the hits kept coming <laughs> yeah it was a, it was a, it was a, like an amazing experience oh uh, what do you think the future of Asian rappers and Asian artists is um, in the American music industry? Well, I don't know. I can't predict the future, but what I do wish the future will be mm. is everybody just expressing themselves and like expressing themselves in a way that like they're sharing their like their identity yes. through like their art and yeah. just kind of, you know, putting putting like something always, always just like putting something new to, like to the table and just kind of like everything that they're making is, is original mm -hmm. and, and you know, they're like this is this is fucking yeah me. this is this is what i have to say yeah 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 and this is like my art and yes. and it's like i really hope that you know in the future everybody else can you know come out with like just their own unique shit and that's yes. that's that's how you know like that's how timeless art is born yes. i feel like yes. and that's how like classics are made so. under your name it's just a timeless art <laughs> okay um some quick fun questions for you right. uh tyler the creator is he your hero he is my hero he is everything he is he is he is like he is one of my like very like he, he's like one of the most important people in my like I guess process because wow. I remember just like I always I always talk about the stories like when I was 14 I saw a video of him when he was in high school mm -hmm. and then he was just like 
I was so inspired that night when I saw that video because I realized I was like, this guy just looks like another like obnoxious high school kid. <laughs> and I was like, this is, he reminds me of me. Wow. And that's when I realized that literally everything is possible. Wow. You, you're not just like, you don't just become successful. You know what I mean? Like you, you're just like, you're normal. And then you work really hard for it. And then you're, you have to be really determined and then fucking, and then you make it or whatever. And then that night, I started making like, I started writing down like New Year's resolutions and I was like, hit a thousand subscribers on YouTube or like uh, uh, make more music yes. or like go to America. Yes. And I, until now, I, I still like, I still do that. And I think that <laughs> helped check, a check, lot. Check times a million. <laughs> exactly. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that should help a lot. Yeah, and one day someone's gonna be like, Rich Brian is my Tyler the Creator. Yes, I, I shit, that's crazy. It's crazy. That's, that's, you gotta pinch yourself, that's you know? Wild, that's wild to think about. It's blessings. Uh, who keeps you humble in your life? Um, my family. Yeah. What did they say when you started blowing up? Did they not understand? <laughs> <laughs> they they were very supportive. I when I was thirteen, I remember like telling my parents like, "Yo, can I go to America?" <laughs> and they were like, "Fuck no." <laughs> and and because I'm like the youngest kid in my family. Oh you know right, because I mean? you have a lot of siblings. I have I have I have three siblings. Okay okay I have okay. Three older siblings, and they were like, "That's way too far. Like we're not yeah. gonna let you go there." And I'm like, "Fuck." <laughs> and I'm like, at one point, I'm like, you know, I'm just gonna give up my dreams and just like stay in Indonesia and just like make more friends here. It's fine. <laughs> and then. And one day, like the music thing started happening, yep. and then I told my um, my mom about it. My mom was the one that was like the most against it, right? Uh, and uh, I told uh. my mom about it. And I was like, Mom, I think I'm gonna go to America for a show. Uh. And she's like, You should go. And she was like, Oh my God, yeah, you should, you should go. And I'm like, Oh shit, that's fucking easy. <laughs> but like that was, it was such a crazy like yeah. sudden thing. Um, but they are like they've been nothing but supportive, yeah. and I think that's so fucking important for that's, me. Yeah, it's amazing. It's, I I would not be able to deal with that. It's so good. Yeah. 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 And last question: You're an artist, you're a rapper, you're a musician, but filmmaker in the future? Uh, yeah. Acting? Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Crazy Absolutely. rich Asian? <laughs> the yeah. prequel, or whatever. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Um, dude. The Sailor is the album. Listen to his last album, Amen. Listen this guy it. is about to listen. He hasn't even reached his 20s yet. <laughs> it's going to be insanity. I'm Rich Brian, <laughs> thanks so much for being here. Of course. Thank you so much. Of course. Bye, everybody. Bye. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more videos from your favorite artist. And while you're here, check out these other videos.